Former civil service boss Francis Mutaura has opted to disconnect his defense from that of Uhuru Kenyatta and the two other co-accused Kenyans facing trial. Now Mutaura is seeking a September commencement a trial date and that is this year as opposed to March next year as petitioned by all the other three. And the reasons that his lawyer gave were these. Uh, Ambassador Mathaura, who sits behind me, is 65 years of age. Uh, he, after the confirmation decision, after more than three decades serving the Republic of Kenya uh, as a diplomat and then as head of the public service, he stepped down. And in this part of his life, in retirement, uh, he wishes to remove this stain that this case has uh, spilt on his character as soon as possible. Yet even the prosecution appears not to be ready for trial, at least not just yet. The Office of the Prosecutor says it is still reviewing evidence and interviewing witnesses and would need until the end of this year. Should the prosecution sort out witness security, reduction of statements and disclosure of evidence, only then can they be ready for a proper trial. The prosecution is not ready now for trial but the prosecution will be ready after the end of the year. We believe that it is best that the two cases are synchronized. Kenyatta's defense fronted a date after case one, another March next year idea. The narrative of the case is important and it takes a journey some six months before these events occur. The prosecution case is uh, that Kenya one then started, Kenya two later happened and that's a very important issue and yet the argument of individual criminal responsibility read its head again with the prosecution maintaining that it was not changing the facts the charges or the mode of liability but Mutara's lawyer called on the judges to reject the application even before it is presented in written form trial chamber 5 presiding judge kuniko ozaki ordered that written submissions be presented by the prosecution by 3rd july after which the defense will have 21 days to respond. Mutara's lawyer complained that the prosecution has not provided them with a shred of evidence in over nine months. And on his part, Kenyatta's lawyer argued it was not practical to delay disclosure of witness identities. Meanwhile, 24-year-old Kip Kimboi Ruto has become the first person to be convicted on charges related to the 2007-2008 post-election violence for killing his neighbor. Now, Kip Kimboi was jailed for life by an Akuru court. Jackie Maribe for News at 8.